If you want to know how efficient an algorithm is, you need to determine the number of operations the algorithm performs based on the size of its input. This is called time complexity. Take this algorithm for adding two numbers, for example. Our program scans through both numbers column by column, and performs one single digit addition at each step. So the total number of operations is proportional to the number of digits in the inputs, which we'll call n. Computer scientists would say that the time complexity for this algorithm is in O of n, meaning it grows at most proportionally to n. Now, let's see what happens with the multiplication algorithm you probably learned in school. Here, we have to multiply each digit of the bottom number with each digit of the top number before adding up the results. Since both numbers have n digits, the algorithm will perform a number of operations proportional to n squared, so its time complexity is in O of n squared. But what if I told you that for really big numbers, this algorithm isn't the way computers do multiplication? What if there was a more efficient way than just multiplying each digit of one number with each digit of the other number? If you want to learn about the genius algorithm that unlocked the ability for computers to multiply more efficiently, check out my video linked below.